Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. So today I have these four journals to share with you. These will be live on my website and Etsy when this video is going up, so you guys are welcome to purchase them. I am also launching my newsletter, so if you guys are interested in joining my newsletter, go to my website and you'll see there's a little sign up there. And I'll just be sending out every once in a while either a discount code or some updates when my shop updates and I add new products to it. And that includes candles and journals. Fall is coming and I know those discounts are going to be useful for you guys, so just wanted to make sure I had that shout out ahead of time. So this collection of journals is called the Cauldron Collection because there is a cauldron on the front page of each of these journals. So I'll flip through the first one all the way and give you a little bit of detail about how I made it and what's going on with it, and then I'll just do a quick flip through of the last ones, because they're all pretty similar except for the covers and the inside covers. So let's start flipping through this one. So I've got a golden envelope here, and a little journaling card. This is a beautiful napkin I decided to put on the front of there. And I've got this little lacy uh, pocket on the front and the back. And we've got some yellow paper there. So this is a stencil and this is on the front page of each of them. So they're kind of my cauldron collection here. <laughs> and each of these, this is a well, it's actually fabric dye. <laughs> anyway, it's dye, hand dyed paper there. But yeah, each one of these has some type of astrological page as well. There's kind of an astrological magical theme to them. It's another hand dyed paper. This is some calligraphy paper. A piece of vegetable wallpaper there. Oh, we've got some beautiful art prints. Another pieces of dyed paper. This one's for gel pens. This went through kind of a darker wash. More dyed papers. And there's the center of the signature. This is 10 pages folded in half, so you have 20 individual pages or 40, I guess, sheets. 20 sheets, 40 pages. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> I really like this one. These were, um, just left in the rain. So there's kind of some just natural degradation to the pattern of it. I love it. Boop. And I haven't put my stamp on the back. I'm about to carve a new tiny one, so. That's what that one looks like. And I love this little decal on the front. These fabrics were a tablecloth and they were all patched together like this and I just thought they were way too beautiful to not do something with. So let me tie him back up and then we'll crack into the next ones.
<laughs> so here's the collection. If you guys are interested in purchasing these, they are both on my website and my Etsy. There's only four of them, and I am tempted to keep one of them, so uh, buy them so I don't force myself to just keep making journals for myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little flip through of all these bad boys and got some ideas of uh, how you can reuse a tablecloth that you find from the thrift store. Just a quick video this week, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a magical day. Bye.